ASAP team. Welcome in the ERP ASAP team. And uh, today we are going to discuss about the purchase requisition. What is the role of the purchase requisition? What is the purchase requisition? Why we create the purchase order from the purchase requisition? We are going to figure out few simple questions. What is the purchase requisition? Purchase requisition is an internal purchasing document in SAP. It is used to give notification to responsible department, purchasing department of requirement of the materials or external services. Getting my points? For example, if I just want to repair any uh, equipment, then we need to create the purchase equation and submit to concern department for the uh, supply of the purchase order to the external vendor for the repairment of that services. For example, I want to uh, purchase of the requirement of the fresh 10 quantity of the material then we need to create the purchase requisition and submit to procurement department for the requ urgent requirement of this material hope you understand why do we need purchase requisition in SAP purchase requisition in SAP CC is an internal document I repeat this is an internal document which is nothing but a request made to the purchasing department in an organization to procure the list of the material in the right time of the required quantity Hope you understand. It can be created automatically by the system or manually. How many types of the purchase requisition are in the cell? Standard purchase order, subcontracting, and stock transfer purchase requisition. Purchase requisition we need to create for the purchase of the material, purchase of the services. And what are the four process of the purchasing in SAP? Uh, procurement to pay process basically involves the four basic steps: the purchase order. Before the purchase order, we need to create the purchase requisition, but that is the internal. The good receipt, the AP invoicing, AP invoicing means uh, the invoicing process and outgoing payment. <coughs> we need to create the purchase order, supply, then vendor had supplied the material or services. Then we need to go good receipt, then uh, Miro invoice verification process, then vendor payment. Two key types of the master data in the purchasing of the vendor master data and item master data. It is streamlined purchasing process. The only mandatory document is the Miro process. What is the ME5A in SAP? The SAP decode ME5A used for the task purchase requisition. That is the list display. We need we will get all the data in the ME5A uh, in SAP list of the all the purchase requisition we made. What are the different types of the purchase order in SAP? <clears throat> Basically, we have a uh, different purchase order, need-based purchase order, stock transfer purchase order, consignment purchase orders, and different, different purchase order we have. Okay. We are going to learn how to adopt the purchase, <clears throat> how to create the purchase order while adopting the purchase requisition in SAP. So, we can create the purchase order via two methods by adopting the purchase requisition from ME20 in 20, ME21 and or directly you can create the purchase order. We need to execute the transaction code ME21 and, and choose the appropriate type of the purchase order and here you need to fill the vendor code. Here we need to uh, fill the vendor code and uh, go in the selection variant here you need to choose the purchase requisition <clears throat> first you need to click on the document overview on and click on this uh, selection variant and the, then go on the purchase requisition because we are going to adopt the uh, purchase requisition data in the purchase order okay once we click on this then uh, recently created purchase requisition is to fill in the program selections okay then we need to execute the tab and click select this purchase requisition and here you need to press the adopt option as soon as we adopt click on the adopt button then purchase requisition data is automatically come up in the screen okay hope you understand so purchase requisition data is automatically come in the screen and uh, we we have saved the time which we are going to involve in the filling the data in the purchase order okay <clears throat> uh, this is the account assignment 
and this is the invoicing process here is the tax code tax code means what is the G, about what is the gst rate on this services you need to choose <coughs> gst rate on this services and uh, fill the account assignments because uh, this purchase requisition we have created via maintenance route uh, via notification maintenance order then generation of the pr then approval of the pr so in account assignment that uh, maintenance order is reflecting and respect to general laser account code is also reflecting like repair and maintenance code this vendor is uh, from the outside gst uh, lo location so we take in the 18 percent igst and also we have uh, uh, to apply this gst code in the services also okay hope you understand yes and uh, now go in the header tab and the customer data tab you need to fill your uh, procurement type reference circle and uh, vendor category what is the procurement type and all okay so once you fill all the data tab the system will generate the purchase order number and that is the purchase order pro creation process via purchase requisition okay here I am going to uh, check the vendor category of this uh, vendor code and uh, <clears throat> see you can check the vendor record in the XK03 also okay and this is the small enterprise and uh, now we are going to fill the document number and uh, in the document number tab you can uh, fill the anything which you want here and now we are going to save this purchase order uh, once we save this purchase order a purchase order number will generate in the background do you want to save then system will generate yes I just want to save this this purchase order number has been generated and this is the process uh, which uh, we have uh, saved the time and automatically manage the data of the purchase requisition because purchase requisition we have already approved from the competent authority for the requirement of the material or the services okay so this is the beauty of SAP system this is the beauty of the SAP system which we utilize here okay and if you have any query in your mind please mention in the comment section if you are new in our youtube channel erp sap team then please subscribe our youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon and if you think that this is a useful tutorial for you then please press a like button in the video tab and share this knowledge with your friends and colleagues for knowledge sharing process and this is purely uh, this tutorial is created just for purely understanding and uh, knowledge sharing purpose okay thank you have a nice day